I want to talk about the bacteria that live in your mouth because this is the beginning of digestion. It's also the beginning of that, you know, internal like tunnel that goes through your body, which is your mouth, your esophagus, your stomach, your small intestine, your large intestine, and then you excrete it. It's actually technically the outside of your body. It's kind of weird, right? But that's the outside of your body. And that's where we have a hundred trillion bacteria living in our large intestine. We have some bacteria that live in our small intestine, but certainly a much lower number, almost not quite sterile, but really low. And there's things that keep that really healthy, but we often don't think about our mouth. If you use antiseptic mouthwash, stop. It is messing up your microbiome in your mouth. If you get chronic cavities, that is from a bacteria. If you have gingivitis, that is from a bacteria. And you can actually do a bacterial culture for your mouth bacteria and see if you have the good guys or the bad guys. And there are bacteria that can live in your mouth that we know contribute to heart disease. We know that they contribute to um, like this inflammatory process that happens in your arteries. There's a whole slew of things that can go on. and it's really critical that you have a healthy microbiome in your mouth. So if you have kind of oral issues, chances are you've got a microbiome problem in your mouth. I know it's always the microbiome with me, right? I know, it's not my fault, it's how our bodies work. But there are tests that you can do to actually measure what's going on. And I recommend always a bio dentist, and that means that they're more familiar with the holistic nature of how the body works. And they're going to give you things that actually help, like using ozone. I, most people do fine with it, and it's really helpful to kill bacteria. So there are some really, really cool things to do that you may not be told about, and I wanna make sure I tell you about it, like your oral microbiome. Also, if you have root canals, you have reservoirs of anaerobic bacteria living in your tooth that never can be treated and gotten rid of. And you need to make sure you have a thermoscan to look for heat signatures for reservoirs of infection that live in the jaw or down into the neck because they'll drain. Okay, so just a few things I, make, I wanna make sure that you know about and I hope that helps.